Welcome to Knife Delights and another fun Knife Friday. Hey, here on Knife Delights, we're not afraid to review any kind of knife. As a matter of fact, as you know, I've done a, a review of a grapefruit knife. Well, here, I don't know, a couple weeks ago or so, I was on a, one of RJ, RJ's Knives live broadcasts, and someone in the comments suggested that I review a butter knife. Well, here it is. This is the butter knife. That's right. And, you know, in addition to having fun, here on Knife Delights, we like to educate also. So did you know that in common usage, a butter knife may refer to any non-serrated table knife designed with a dull edge and a rounded point? Well, we got a dull edge and a rounded point. Yep, rounded point there. Yep, mm-hmm. Formal cutlery patterns make a distinction between such a place knife or table knife. And that's what we're talking about here. This is a table knife, not a butter knife. So, anyway, in this usage, a butter knife or master butter knife is a sharp pointed dulled edge knife, often with a saber shape, used only to serve out pats of butter from a central butter dish to individuals diners plates so this is not a master butter knife okay a master one would have a saber um, kind of blade and you could reach over and pick up a, a patty a pad of uh, butter off of a plate no this is a uh, your ordinary butter knife used for spreading yeah there you go anyway so master butter knives are not used to spread the butter under the bread this would contaminate the butter remaining on the butter dish when the next pat of butter was served. Rather, diners at the breakfast, the luncheon, and the informal dinner table used an individual butter knife, such as this, to apply butter to their bread. Individual butter knives have a round point so as not to tear the bread, and are sometimes termed butter spreaders. If no butter spreaders are provided, a dinner knife may be used as an alternative. How is that for some unique history on the butter knife? You didn't know there was so much about the butter knife that you needed to know, did you? Well, this, this has been such a fantastic project to work on. I have decided I am going to turn this into a traveling butter knife. So yes, this knife is going to be sent to channel to channel. And... Um, these other channels can take their uh, take on this butter knife here. And it ought to be interesting to see what each channel has to say about it. So look forward for some more videos here on the Traveling Butter Knife. So until next time, have a very delightful day and a fun Knife Friday. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we have this butter knife. It was sent to me from Knife Delights. And, um, you know, I'm just not too interested in reviewing a butter knife. And the way I look at things, it doesn't do any good to review the butter knife because without your bread being cut open, a butter knife isn't used. So, you know, I'm not going to follow the rules. Instead, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go over this bread knife here. I mean, we can't talk about butter. we got to have our bread open and, and that. And Tom was, you know, nice enough to send the knife to me. But, you know, I, I think we should go over the, the bread knife. The, the bread knife is a knife that I own. And um, so we're just going to demonstrate the use of a bread knife here. John from J.O. Ventures Outdoors. Today we're looking at another traveling knife. Now, as most of you know, I cannot stand to see a fixed blade knife without a sheath. So rather than review the knife, I thought I would make a sheath. Now, when I first start to uh, make a sheath, I first start with a file folder just like this, and it's using this thickness, and I normally purchase these at my local office supply store. You can get various thicknesses, you can get them tabbed or untabbed, and uh, a multi multiple uh, different colors. So 
what I want to do here is before I start working with the leather I want to make an outline here and and kind of a pattern now as you'll see the advantage of using a folder is I'm cutting through two levels here as I cut I always use blunt ended scissors so as not to hurt myself oh now as you see that's why you start with cardboard I'm cutting in the wrong place I have to start over Now I want to cut outside the edge. I want to add about a quarter inch here. And now I have my rough pattern. And now I can start working with the leather. Hey guys, North Star Knife Reviews here. Just out for a little walk here on one of the local walking trails. I like to walk at night. It's, you know, it's just so nice and peaceful. You do have to worry about, you know, wild animals and such. So I did bring this uh, traveling butter knife along with me here just in case I run into one of them lions that uh, Klondike Kevin was talking about. So, just a nice little walk here, and we'll talk a little bit about this knife. I certainly hope you've enjoyed this butter knife review. Until next time, everyone take care. Please don't take my butter cow away.